Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kijama Tafa Zika Parin. And you're watching The Mirror of the True. I am one biocentric philosopher. I am one skeptic of my own species. And I am one histrophile, that means I am half one passion for history. That means I know a lot about history. I am a biocentrist. Biocentrism is the opposite of anthropocentrism. By the anthropocentric mindset, you look anything from of your own perception. Like anthros means means in old Greeks, man, the old English word for our species. So listen, good people. We are not so important at all. We are quite insignificant, to be honest. We think that we are so special, that we are important, but this is all mental masturbation, you may say. It does not affect. In reality, we are pretty insignificant. This may be depressing for some of you. And some of you are getting offended by that. Because you've been told by your society, your family, and your whole social hierarchy that you'll be with Farmu. That you are significant, important. Now. I'm going to tell you that this is not the fact. Why do we are insignificant? It is because we are bringing nothing good to the table and we are mostly only destroying this planet and making the world hell for any other living being on this planet. We're destroying habitats of animals like the ocean or headlands, maybe you can say. We stealing their lands. Have people not learned from their mistakes when English stole the land of the Native Americans? That it is not okay to take the life areas. The land of other living beings. What people do with their rainforests and with the oceans destroying their habitats is very much akin to what American whites have done to natives. Stealing their land and enslaving them and selling them in prostitution. Over no time habitats are destroyed and then the Uran Utans are sometimes trapped in sex trafficking by disgusting, filthy people who wanted to rape Uran Utans. And chimps and other animals' house land is stolen away. We claim that we are now right or wrong, but when is the day that we ever prove it collectively as a species? Yeah, maybe, uh, yes. Some of us have proved it, but collectively, we are not so much better than Hammond, the governor of the South, who defends slavery because it was part of his tradition. It, this is a thing you can do. You can try to do something about it, or you can play lip service. You can stop buying people to abuse animals for the meat they're in. Industry. You can stop 
being a carnist and go all vegan. But what you do now is quietly exactly the opposite. You're paying people to kill, murder, execute, assassinate, or which kinds of euphemism you want to use for the cruelty. Do we not have learned that other living beings are not here to serve us? What have you learned from slavery? Have you nothing learned from it? Have you not learned from slavery that it is not okay to come out of and enslave, rape and torment others just because we can? It is time to learn right from wrong. If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty. Like Hitler, like Hammond, the governor of, of South Carolina in the 19th century, like uh, Gaddafi, like um, Idi Amin and Hassani, and many more have done to the Pacific victims. But when you are the victim, or you speak up for the victims, things look a lot different from that position, mate. I know right from wrong. That's why I'm vegan. I don't respect people who choose cruelty. So if you are not vegan, and by that extent pay people to murder, what is murder by proxy, the same way Charles Manson was a murderer, then I'm serious. You must ask yourself why you ask for things you are not willing to give. It is unfair to ask for some things you are not willing to give. Animals are not willing participants in the most biggest massacre ever on this planet. That is around 70 billion land animals and around 2.7 trillion marine animals any year for nothing more than taste pleasure. How unjustifiable can you make it? Might must not mean right. Peace, compassion, decency, respect should not be reserved for oppressors, but only for oppressed. And those who speak out against the oppressors. Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, not once the oppressed. Silence encourages the tormentor, not once the, the tormentor. Veganism is actually something you can do. Instead of applying love surface to all the problems on the planet, we are not acting doing something about. You know that 81% of all the deforestation and by that extent stealing of lands, areas from the animals that live there is because of animal agriculture, the most biggest environmental threat on the planet, by far more facts, around 80% of all the food on the planet is given to animals that live in countries where the majority of the children die from starvation. Because their food is fed to livestock. More facts. 51% um, of all the greenhouse gas emissions are coming from animal agriculture. That is 32.6 tons of carbon dioxide directly into the air. I'll be off cobble your side directly into the air. Why? People. Why do you always focus on a small percent of the problem? Instead of focusing on the bigger picture and solving the true problems. And why do people ask for things they are not willing to give? Kindness begins on the dinner table. 
you can eat beans, you can eat lentils, you can eat rice, potatoes, you can make burgers from that products, you can also eat on um, holy raw fruit diet. You can eat, if you want to eat that way, you can eat mangoes, bananas, khaki fruits, mandarins, and things like persimmons, or durians, or jackfruit, caucus nuts, but lati animals are low. They don't want to be your food. It is not a personal choice, a free personal choice without guilt. When there are a victim in this scenario, what's the excuse for causing as least as possible harm on this planet. Always go vegan.